All right, everyone. It has been quite a while since I've put out some content. I have just been very busy with various uh, fabricating projects and other projects on top of that. Um, anyways, I am working on a courtyard gate project and um, even though I've been welding for probably 25 years or more, um, I guess it's negotiable. Um, I discovered something today that I wanted to pass along to you guys, especially you guys out there that take on custom projects that are in the architectural component range, such as furniture, or let's say every once in a while you get called out to do a small structural project, um, where you guys really have to step your game up and it just has to look good from a short distance. So anyways, let me get you guys turned around here and show you what I have and we'll see what we can do. Sit tight. All right, you guys, this is what I have. This is a, this is the door right here. It's, it's a, you know, a very basic double lock. Um, as you can see here, I'm trying to just blend my welds in and just make everything as square and as fluid and as perfect as possible for two things. I want it to look good and I like to build things that last a long time. Um, whenever I build stuff, I always go with 14 gauge versus 16 gauge for several different reasons is number one, it will last longer. Number two, it's easier to weld 14 gauge than it is 16 gauge. Um, so anyways, let me explain how, so when I dress out my welds, I was using this, um, this is a Freud a uh, flap disc that has a radius built onto it. This one's kind of worn a little bit, but you guys get the idea. They're exclusively at Home Depot. Freud has the rights. They have the intellectual rights to it because they still, I think they're, they're it's still a uh, closed patent or whatever, but as soon as their patent runs out, I'm sure that everybody will, will the market will be saturated with these things. But right now they're kind of exclusive to Freud. Um, you know, but good for them. They're expensive. They're, they range between $15 to $19, depending on where you live and which Home Depot you go to. But, you know, like it's, it's really kind of an invaluable tool and, and good for them, you know. So on switching over to the Harbor Freight side of things, there is a Warrior brand polishing kit that works with angle grinders. And it starts out at like 40 grit and it winds up at like 600 grit and it works great. If you guys go back and look at my um removing the the paint from my harbor freight anvil the doyle anvil it did an amazing job at putting just a mirror finish on that anvil which has since gotten rusty and looks like crap actually no it looks kind of cool i take that back so anyways so i was using the 40 grit flap disc to clean up my weld and i've over the years i've realized that paint can magnify mistakes i i hope and so i i had this idea it's like wait a minute why can't i use my warrior polishing grit just to knock down the hair lines from a 40 grit pad because um even though i know this is just a courtyard gate and it's very basic i'm charging 1500 dollars for this um and for you guys out there that are confident and can do a great job. I've seen people who say they can weld and they build stuff and it looks like crap. I mean, they, they gouge their, their work with a hard disc and they, you know, they go to sandblast it and paint it and it looks terrible. Um, another thing too is a lot of this, this piece here is going to be used for the brochure because this um, has the potential. There's a, a unit of condos in Scottsdale where I think there's two or 300 units and they're Homeowners Association is kind of forcing them to um, switch over to these gates um, just to just to give things a facelift and stuff like that. So um, anyways, this it just it has to look good. So I'm going to get you in the stand here and just kind of do a before and after. Um, so hopefully I can do this without getting too wordy with it already. Um, so sit tight. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the white pad, which I believe is like like a 40.
All right, let me see if I can bring you in closer here. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know if you can really see that. But you just, you want things almost just fluid. And when you guys check your work for sharps and berries and stuff like that, take your gloves off and just run your hand across it. Um, just because, you know, it, it helps. It looks good aesthetically. But the last thing you want is your client, when they're in a hurry, they're getting ready to go out or do whatever, is snagging themselves and getting a cut. Um, that's not going to fly. All right, so let's go ahead and bring it up to the 80 grit and check things out. All right, you guys, as you can see there, it it's, it's really has a fluid appearance and it's really smooth. And once I get some paint on it, I know there's kind of a, like a, a divot there. Um, I'm not sure if I'll fill that or if I'll just let it slide. I mean, you know, you just have to be very discerning on what you can live with and what you can't live with. Um, anyways. All right, you guys, I hope that was somewhat helpful, especially to you guys that are out there that do fence work and like pool gates and stuff like that. Or if you're, you know, let's say if you work for a big company and you're starting to break off and do stuff out of your garage, just just keep your game tight, man. Keep your game tight. Um, anyways, I guess that'll do it for this one. I know I'll try to get out there and, and start putting out more content because there's just a lot of stuff I want to cover. Um, anyways, um, once I get this thing installed, follow me on Instagram. I'm at 26fe.ironworks on Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram and I'll have some pictures of that thing put up when it's done. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comments. Once again, as always, be blessed and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.